Hello, I'm Anna Velas. I'm a postdoctoral research fellow at the Cardiac Surgery Department at Johns Hopkins. I would like to thank Jax for the opportunity to present our work. The use of a second IMA in a radial artery instead of a saphenous vein are recommendations and latest guidelines. Despite this, the national use of FEMA for cabbage was only 4.9% and the use of radial artery with LIMA was 6.5%. We hypothesized that several measures that took place at our institution collectively given rise to the start of a programmatic focus increase the use of multiple arterial grafts. We used our institution's STS database and our cohort consisted in adult patients less than 70 years of age undergoing cabbage from 2012 to 2019. Our primary outcomes were the number of arterial grafts, single versus multiple, and the type of artery combination that they received. Our secondary outcomes were complications such as 30-day mortality, take back for bleeding, sterile wound infection, hospital readmission, post-operative cardiac arrest, stroke, and renal failure. Here we can see a summary of the results. After the initiation of a programmatic focus, the use of multiple arterial grafts increased from 21 to 41%, and the use of single arteries decreased by 20%. The most striking increase was for the use of radial artery, which went from being used almost never to 60% of all our cabbage. The use of our triple arteries also increased by 2.4%, and BIMA increased by 3%. Finally, our secondary outcomes demonstrated that there was no difference when comparing the complications among time periods. But when comparing multiple versus single arterial graphs, there was a statistically significant decrease in 30-day mortality and post-operative cardiac arrest with the use of multiple arterial graphs. In conclusion, we know that a programmatic focus has the potential to increase the use of multiple arterial graphs in eligible cabbage patients. Consistent with other studies, the use of MAG was associated with a decrease in 30-day mortality and post-operative cardiac arrest and may become a quality measure in the future. Thank you.